Hi guys, welcome to QHT with Coca Ames K. <laughs> so make sure you're relaxed, you're chilled. Don't worry, it won't take that long. So, it is. Sorry, I have my notes here. Don't forget your friends when you get a man. This is the first one. So, don't forget your friends when you get a man. Boy, like, this is our topic of today. So, um, I've had like a lot of experiences or I've seen a lot of things where girls leave their friends for their man. And like, sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's not intentional, but I'm more of the not intentional side, but also you should know if you get what I mean. So, I'm kinda in the middle, so I wanna know what you guys think. Um, reason why, say if you have an argument or you break up or something, you need someone to fall back. Not even to fall back, you need someone to go and express your feelings to. You need someone to go and vent to if you're angry. You need someone to go cry. Someone to have a shot where you would have a shoulder to cry on, basically. You would need that. So you need that support. You need that fallback. You know your friends are always gonna be there for you. Even if your husband, your boyfriend, anybody, okay, like that you like fall in love with like breaks your heart or something your friends will always be there so just remember that remember that like i had an experience well i came across something basically um one of our friends we're still tight we're friends like we're friends with her definitely <laughs> love you i'm not gonna say her name but um she had a like she had a man and then she sort of went off with him all the time and it just kept go being consistent and like quite often and then in school we'll just be like this was in secondary school we'll just be like wow like this girl has really changed and obviously because she's head over heels well not head over heels that's a bit <laughs> extreme but she's obviously in love with him and like she likes him so she obviously has to spend time with him but when we're with her she'll like obviously the first few weeks she was with us with him with us with him but then it started to get even more worse she started to go with him even more so we we're thinking wow our friends really changed and like we've obviously discussed this now so don't feel like i'm back chatting or anything because i'm not because we've discussed everything what i'm saying now is what we've said to her and um yeah so she basically not changed but she just went her way with her man and we felt really betrayed like not betrayed but we were shocked as well like we were confused really surprised the fact that she left us because she was so close to us and then we just went our separate ways and now thinking about it i understand because like we were young not young young but we were young but also like for example say if she had an argument and i'm not saying that she did or anything or if she did i don't know but say if she did have an argument with him who's she gonna rely on because she won't come back to me at that time she wouldn't have come back to me or my friend my other friend or my other friend as well i'm not gonna state names but i'll just say sarah jane and pianka yeah but um <laughs> like we're not gonna do anything we're not gonna give you advice at that time so yeah it's really hard because obviously you're trying to maintain your relationship with your man but also you need to maintain your friendship with your friends as well because they were there before your man just know that girl literally so whenever you break up with your um, man or have an argument with him and you need someone to cry on please remember your friends don't forget your friends this is why things like this happen so i had a girl i'm not gonna say her name and we're still friends with her and we do love her to bits but um basically she had a man and obviously in secondary school she loved him so much and like it's not her fault that obviously like i understand also like on a vice versa you could discuss that like say for instance i get a man also i hopefully i am not going i'm not gonna try and like leave my friends for my man i will try and balance out the two so any advice to people right now who's in a relationship and is struggling to find even though i'm single um is struggling to find a balance basically like spend like days that you know that is you and your man day like i know it's weird but the days that you're with your man and you enjoy them stick to them and the days that you know that you're with your friends and you enjoy them as well stick to them as well because you can balance out the two like there's i know a girl that she balances the two so for example 
Monday to Wednesday she'll be with her man and then maybe Wednesday, Wednesday to Friday she'll be with her friends and then Saturday and Sunday to herself like you know just balance it out that's what I would do like don't cut them off this is the whole moral of this topic so yeah and sometimes I understand people don't do it intentionally so like it just happens naturally like sometimes you'll be like mm, you're all caught up in the love and you're with your man and yeah like he popping he there he popping <laughs> but um yeah he's there and he's with you 24 7 and then you forget about your friends you don't make time for them you don't do what you used to do like go to cinemas or talk about this that and that like definitely please girl sometimes you feel guilty like I know you do because deep down you'll be like oh I haven't called this girl in a week like or even it's not even weeks it could be months two months three months no come on girls we need to try and balance out our relationship and our friendship I also understand like it happens when you're young like I'm not I haven't I'm not old yet or I, I'm not like in my 20s so I can't speak about maybe I'll look back at this and think yeah maybe you were taking sense or maybe you weren't talking sense <laughs> but um yeah i feel like it happens when you're young Wes, and like it definitely happens when we were in secondary school like definitely because you think yeah my man's in my secondary school or my man i have a man so regardless i don't need my friends no honey you do need your friends you give you that encouragement or that advice like girl do this or girl don't do that or you know like that pat on the back that extra support that moral support i'm not gonna all only try and grill the girls because it's not only girls sometimes it's the boys as well like you guys yeah you might not also want your girl to be with her friends or to chill out with even her family but let's not even go into family but friends nah -uh, nah -uh. she needs her friends before you it was her friends okay remember chicks before they were there for you they were there when you were coming to her trying to move to her city. all them stuff so definitely i feel like the boys that do that please do not don't do that because at the end of the day you're just gonna have a girl that's gonna be missing her friends every day or either moaning to you or pre you're not gonna have a happy relationship basically if you do not let your girl um see her friends really and truly like girls don't you agree with me here like agree someone comment and be like yeah because it's honestly uh, if never know even speak from my personal experience but if a guy ever did that to a girl that i know i would definitely tell the girl to either speak to her man or get out of that relationship seriously because that's not gonna work you need to see your friends you need to see let alone family but but let's talk about friends here you need to see your friends end of period period yes period choke mm. isn't it this is quick hot topics with coca ames k please comment anything that you think is true or that you don't think is true um please like subscribe and topics like this will come up more often but for now i want you guys to just deep this whole process of people or girls mainly this is mainly pointed out to girls i know sorry girls sisterhood but um, don't leave your friends for your man okay and it could be vice versa but for now it's only for the girls so girls tell me what you think or you can even text me on my snapchat and i could put it out there like in my next video or so but and this is my first QHT, so please bear with me if I do like start also, or um, I'm not talking sense, but hopefully, wait, hopefully what I said has been processed also, but yeah, so hopefully I'll get better as time go goes by, and I would be saying more obviously interesting think of like, topics as Let's well. think of like a, a rhyme or something for this. Or if you have any ideas for QHT with Coco Ames K, then yeah. So this is Quick Hot Topics with Coco Ames K. And I am so, so delighted for the amount of love and support I get on YouTube so far. Like literally, really appreciate it. Like words can't describe. I'm not even going to give personal shout outs on this one because everyone, even people that I don't even know, 
you all deserve a shout out, I swear, like literally. And people that um, have been sh like promoting me and I don't even know or know about, like literally, this goes out to you. I love you so much, honestly. And yeah, and just watch out for QHD with Coco Ames K. So I see you later, guys. Bye. Love you. Try. Seven days, a few weeks, bro. So I did my side, this girl come.